We see the first marriage in Genesis chapter 2. After God had spoken everything into creation, he then bent down into the dust of the earth and formed man and breathed life into him. But he saw it wasn't good for man to be alone. And so he created woman, meaning of man. He didn't create woman. He did not create Eve from the head of the man to be over him, nor from his foot to be underneath him. But he created woman from the side to be equal to him and to be protected under his wing. made me the most blessed man alive. I thought I'd be prepared to see you walk down the aisle, even still I'm blown away, tremendously. Who would have guessed that the first person I met moving up to North Carolina would end up being my wife? I truly don't know where I would be without you, but one thing I do know for sure is my life is far greater with you in it. I have no doubt that you are the person I've been praying will come into my life, and even still I was not prepared for how much joy and happiness you would bring to me. You're the love of my life, and I can't wait to spend and build a life with you. I love you so much. I want to be the best version of me possible. I know with you there by my side, I can do anything. I did not fall in love with you. I walked in love with you. Eyes wide open, knowing exactly what I was looking for, exactly who you are. I chose you, and I will continue to choose you every day. You were what I was praying for and what God gave me. You love me for who I am. You taught me to be better. You are my yang. My other half that that is opposite and brings balance. It is your responsibility to nurture her, to encourage and empower her to be the woman God has called her to be. You are to protect her, not just a physical protection, but emotionally and spiritually protect her. You are to allow God to work through you to keep her pure and holy. You are charged with leading her in a closer walk with Jesus and not taking her away from that. Do you accept that responsibility? Absolutely. It is my great honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Jenny would always message me to go to church with her Sunday morning. And Jenny and Jerome had both come out of relationships and I thought they would make a perfect match. But they didn't make it easy. <laughs> I had to trick them into hanging out. I would tell them we're all going to church together, then mysteriously get a text from my husband and would need to leave. This is where I wanna be, nah, nah, nah. Never ever gonna leave. Jerome 
introduced me to Jenny uh, not too long ago, and um, it was a different spark in his eyes. It was, it was, it was different. I hadn't heard him talk about anybody like this. I hadn't heard him speak with such emotion and passion when he talked about her. First time I got a chance to meet Jenny, I, I kind of suspected, I just, I don't think uh, there's anybody else that I want my son to be with. This is where I wanna be, nah, nah, nah. Never ever gonna leave, nah, nah, nah. Going and Jenny is very reserved. Jerome loves going out and Jenny is more of a homebody. They are the yin to their yang. They perfectly balance each other and they keep each other grounded. And I wish nothing but blessings and happiness and long and happy marriage. I love y'all. Cheers. You Never going home.